hello in this video we will learn some of the most important capabilities of github copilot right it not only generates code but it can do all of these things for us like we'll see how it can do this that's why many people don't know about it they just think that it is just a code generator tool which you can anyways generate from chat gpt as well right but here it is integrated in your ide so i'll go one by one to each of these points and some of these we will try and some of this maybe you can try at home but i'll share the prompts with you so that you can give them a try that will help you in improving the code so let's begin so if you have not started the series you can look at it and uh, get it installed in your system for this particular video, I have used uh, Amuthan Shaktivel's uh, The One Framework repo because he has created a very good repo. He writes clean code, so in which web, mobile, API and state essentials. So all of this code is there and even reporting and all. So I'm just using it as a reference right, to uh, try these functionality because the code I was earlier trying, it was uh, very uh, like only two files were there, but here we have uh, a rich code. Right, so I have cloned that in my system. So first of all, we'll see that how explain code we can do with the help of uh, GitHub Copilot. Right, so these are called as uh, slash commands. Right, so you see a slash uh, before this explain. Right, so you will see that there are fix. So there are some keyword which gives the context to Copilot that what you have to do, whether you have to generate a documentation, whether you have to fix code right or whether you have to generate test whether you have to generate documentation so similarly there is explain and there are these hash variables as well right so like uh, similar to this these are slash and this is hash like maybe you want to explanation of only that selection right so it's like uh, obvious right it's very logical that they have created and i'll say workspace and explain right I can use this forward and automatically things starts coming right so it is explaining me the file uh, which is currently open it is telling me what all things it is doing right if I want to check it inline I can right click this open copilot editor inline and here also if I so here I need not to give the workspace right because here I want to understand this so it will uh, tell me about this that what is this particular function it is doing right so it is telling that it's a java test class add employee test right and what it is doing right and it is like like you can click on this and you can go to that particular portion as well right so this will help you in understanding code so this explain is for understanding the code right like let me open the readme file right and i can give the context also right here if you click on this button it takes the context and I can again ask workspace and explain. Okay, so it is telling me that it's a markdown file and what it is about. And if I want to understand a particular portion, right, I can select that just like that I uh, told you. And there are some prompts which have been uh, there on the Microsoft Learn site. Like we can look at it and you can try all these uh, later, right? For example, if you want to understand that what are the dependencies in this project, right? How the data is working, what is how the unit testing is being done in this project, right? How one file is related to another, if you want a Docker file, right? And you can mention a particular thing by mentioning hash file, right? This I can show you as well. Right, so if we go here, right, I can start a new chat, right, and let's say I want to understand only this portion, right. So what I can say is hash selection, right. Now if you see, I have selected line number 13, 14, so that's why it is coming here. I can say what it is doing, can you, right, so again I can give this and I can say optimize. Right, so I'm trying to ask that if it can optimize uh, this code, right? So it will tell you the detail, right? To optimize this code, it is telling that we can add some comments and all, right? 
yeah but there is maybe no improvement is needed that's why it is just telling that you can just add uh, the comments over here and that's enough right so that's one part of it and these are various things which are there like you can write that i am a python developer help me understand provide better analogies right so let me try that so this time i will give this i am a python developer help me understand this right because this is a java code and i uh, don't know right so it is telling me that how the things would be similar while maybe using compared to python right so that is another use case that can be used right adds comment to the code to make it more understandable this category comes under generate documentation right so this was about explain code now we can go to review code it can also review code for you so before raising any pr uh, you can probably uh, get the code review right so let me get this review okay let me close this right and i can right click also and go to copilot and i can say review and comment right so now it is reviewing the code so it has given some suggestion that can be indented yeah so i think he has written good code so it is we are just getting suggestion for indentation and all right sometimes it will give you more than one right so we can accept or discard it right and you will see this if there are more than one so i can apply it so it becomes like this right and there was an assert class as well assert helpers right so probably we can maybe make changes here if we want so somebody has asked me uh, shrini i think that if it can generate code for api as well right he tried one year back and it did not work right so let's try i will say that add right let me open that inline chat here okay so now i will say test add more test to this class for user details right so this is having api test right so i am asking it to add more test and include edge cases as well right so now i am covering the unit test part of it right so if you see it has added a test case called as uh, delete user right and invalid data all of the test cases it has added uh, like 400 404 client error right this is not found and this is client side error right if you see uh, there are some methods uh, which are coming as uh, like there is some error in that but let's accept it right now this delete user method is not there so it can even fix it right because we can go to this user api because there is no such, such method right so we can go there and probably we can click on uh, fix yeah let's try that copilot fix so fix is for uh, fixing the things right so it can generate a method called as delete user so firstly it has added test so that's why they say that go step by step and you should understand coding also uh, right to make sure that you use it properly right so it has suggested that we can add a delete user method in the user api class i have copied this code and i'll go to user api class so there is no delete method it has given me right so i have added this method now that code should be okay right there is another error user details i can see fix using copilot so this button is also there now it is analyzing what is the problem so it has suggested that probably we can add this uh, constructor over there in user details right so let's go to user detail class this is the class and i have added a constructor right let's go back to that test right now all the problems are fixed and i have generated test right edge cases also so we have covered this explain errors also right you can right click and explain you can convert some code to c sharp or maybe uh, python or java right unit test we can generate by writing forward slash test right we generated edge cases by mentioning this you can write a prompt as well right and also keep a note that sometimes it uh, does not add 
uh, what you call edge cases so you might have to tell that uh, add edge cases then it will add those test right you can be specific like uh, mentioning the class names and all which you can mention by this hash here right if you mention hash the file names will come right you see user api user details all of that classes that are there right also you can keep them open so that it is easier uh, for the system to refer right and we can clear this like whenever you want to do a new thing you can clear this so that's how you can uh, maybe add test right now coming to generate documentation for that there is a forward slash doc right so let's say there is no uh, no documentation in this right so what i can do is hash doc right or at the rate right or maybe this class only we need it right so we can i can say generate documentation for this class right so it is referring to uh, this class and there is nothing written on top of it right so it has added some documentation for us right we can apply the changes from here apply to this right so now it will apply these changes here right so it is applying as of now these changes i'll try to raise a pr also and maybe we'll ask amuthan if he can review it because we are just improvising some of the things maybe if some things are not right i might get a comment over that right so that's how we do the documentation by this forward slash doc command you can give and these are some good prompts that they have given like you want a table and all right you want to document this project and you can write all of this for example maybe you want certain things in your documentation you want who is the contributor what is the guideline what is the license what are the dependencies right you can generate a readme file as well i'll try to cover uh, different maybe single single videos for covering the particular thing but would like to cover this and the advantage is that you can maybe generate inline comments you can generate a function description as well right so let's try to generate a function description right so here i can say so let's open inline chat here so there are shortcuts like control plus i i can say here doc add documentation for can be deserialized to right so it let's see it has generated some documentation or not so it has added this i accept this right so documentation got added with using forward slash doc right and yeah so we can write like right click and fix with copilot that option was coming right we saw that and it keeps the consistency in the documentation reading that what you have done in the existing one right so now comes the most important part like how you can improve your code quality right so you can reduce complexity in your code right by let's say you have used too many if else if else condition then i have tried that it uh, tries to suggest you that you can break this code right but you should know that that you have to improve it and you ask for it right it will it's not a magic wand like which will do everything for you so you have to ask good questions right you can ask that do some refactoring design pattern suggestions so when you ask all of this then it will uh, suggest you stuff right for example let's say there are some same calculations which are you see that they are at one place you know how to fix it but you can ask copilot that that this code looks similar can you uh, make it into a function right so yeah you can add testability extensibility as well uh, yeah so some of these things are there right i'm not covering each and everything right just like you can add error handling right i try to add at one place where i saw that uh, that we can improve that test so it was an api test right i think it was this get user let me open that editor inline chat add error handling to this code yeah or you can give selection also then it means that it will consider it as right so now it has added it i accept that code and do test it out right because it can suggest you some things which are not right right so yeah 
so that's how we can do add error handling also right if uh, you can add even security related things if you are dealing with secrets you can give this kind of prompts how can implement logging security right try this and you will learn a lot right optimize some algorithms right so it will give you suggestions but try them out because at times they could be wrong as well right most of the time your code will work but you should have the idea right you should know coding so bug fixes we did right uh, we did not use fix we use right click and so it is one of the same thing right so there are skills so what they call skills is let's say i want to know something about vs code so vs code is like an agent here right i can say how to print how to see print statements right so it so this will just search in the vs code and uh, data and tell me that how i can probably use a particular functionality inside vs code so these agents are like you can give a good context and they will uh, give you better answers right we can do test jet data generation for example if we want to a country code right so let's try it out in this code only so i can say generate a list of country codes with country name in a list of string right right so i can say list right so it is automatically suggesting that canada mexico right all of this so this way also we can uh, do business data generation right pull request summary i showed you in the last video that uh, like on the github page there is a button you can click on it right code generation we can link code as well right maybe you can write that firstly some part of it then use that code to generate another part of it right so try all these things once you start using it these things will automatically comes as a use case for you right where you will explain code you will you can review code you can generate documentation and this review code uh, will soon be integrated in your azure devops or github where like uh, ai can review your code right so try all these things you will learn even more you can share the better uh, maybe prompts in the comments and maybe ping me and maybe if i miss something do let me know and you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching